Hello, my delectable little morsels. Welcome to Truly Evil Bob's Games, where we're here to own your ass. Let's hope we don't get it in the devil hole this time. Oh, come on, Tag. You know you love it. Well, you're maybe my little bloods. bitch, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, oh. what is it that D Damon wants for our little secret? Let's find out. Click the button. L like. I want you to write me a love letter. Oh my god, look at that. Oh god. What? That face, dude. That's a shitty grin if I've ever seen one. Yeah. An extremely romantic love letter. I want you to proclaim your undying passion in words with hearts and flowers sealed with a kiss. I, uh... See, you're embarrassed. That makes it a good challenge for your initiation and a good souvenir for me, too. So I can jerk off to you later while I think Into about you. Into your letter, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that the sound? <laughs> 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 Oi, that's, that's a good orgasm. <laughs> oh, I nutted everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> Right in your devil hole. Alright. <laughs> I always wanted to. S I always wanted someone to write me a love letter. So you'll do it, right, freshman? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Good girl. <laughs> Hand it to me by midnight and your task is complete. And make sure it's juicy. You better hurry and get Steve's coffee now. Right. And we head our separate ways. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Time for red magic. Oh, this is oh, one God. of his classes how, how, did I, how did I do that? Get to your seats and hurry up. No chatter. In this class, careless might cost you your fingers. He wouldn't really cut off a student's fingers, would he? Are there only two teachers in this entire school? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> here, here you will be learning the sed art of red magic Seductive. the evocation and control of energy with this power you might summon a light summon a breeze light a fire or call a distant object to your hand or you know into in, into and out of your yes I say that is seductive not because of the power itself but because of simple minds prefer <coughs> simple solutions I love the seckies yeah, that's amazing <laughs> It'll change your devil hole into a, a I, angel hole. I belched right, right, right into the mic. Mm -hmm. Like, unabashedly. And it kind of smells. I got some of it in my mouth, I'm not going to lie. Well, good. I'm glad I could, you know, share, <laughs> share, something, of yeah, 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 share yeah. something of mine with you. <laughs> right into my mouth. Mo Blast mo your <laughs> enemies with lightning. Tear <laughs> buildings apart with earthquakes. Let the world around you burn! Fall victim to such vulgar fantasies, and you'll leave yourself vulnerable to those capable of creative thought. There are many approaches that direct force cannot defend against. <clears throat> yeah. One inattentive moment, and you'll lose control of the forces you have summoned. After that, you will only be remembered as an unpleasant stain on the walls. He rubs his hand together and gives a nasty smile. Now for your lessons. Success! Oh, we got three magic skills. That was yeah, good. We're, yeah, we're stressing out here. I only only got 18. Blank piece of paper and tapping my pencil absently. Um, could you stop that? You're annoying me! Ah, uh, sorry? I flatten my hands on the desk surface and try and keep from fidgeting and sigh. Are you doing homework? Uh, no, I'm trying to write a stupid love letter. Love letters aren't stupid! Not a real one. It's... For initiation, I'm supposed to be writing some romantic love letter that's really, really sexy. I love sexy. Read it to me. I have no idea what voice. to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm perfect. perfect. Maybe you should just quote Shakespeare. Sonnets are really romantic. If I'm a nerd. I don't think that counts as writing. Well, you suck. I'm not very good at this. I'm, I'll go sit in a corner. Wait, no. Don't you have to copy a famous poem exactly? But they can still give you suggestions. Shall I compare to these to a summer day? That one more lovely, more temperate. So compare them to something. Something unusual. May I compare thee to a trouser snake? 
His voice is like butter, or his teeth are like knives. Oh, butter, butter voice. I like knife teeth. He's not gonna appreciate He's that. He's gonna love knives. I'm knife. Jamie, and I know what I like, All right. okay? Voice like butter. Thank you. Now you're learning. <laughs> I am your to master. Be subservient, okay. Yes. Warm and soft, it goes all all melty. See, perfect. That's sweet. It's a good start. You're doing well. Uh, if you were butter on the table with a bread basket, lots of people would want to take bites of you. But I want to keep all the butter for myself because it's delicious. Don't say it like that's a poem. It's good. Butter gets all over my Ooh. fingers and makes them slippery when I lick them. Yeah. Look at her smile. I'm not sure how to finish this sentence. I think you said enough already. Are you, are you sure? Girl, I am so wet, so, you know, just, just uh, cap it. Cap it with I'm thinking of you. Okay. Look <laughs> at what I write, written in frown. I don't think I have good love letter handwriting, though. I don't have any cutesy stationery. I, I do, of course I do. What are you talking about? I could copy it over for you if you want. Really? Thanks. Do I have to pay you? Are you like a, a writing whore? No, you're the one who suggested the payment, so if you want to do that kind of stuff... So you are a whore. I, I it's am It's supposed a to be whore. sealed with a kiss. Do you think you'll know if I don't do it? I don't like to be called a whore, okay? Well, just kiss the letter for me, okay? Mwah! There might be a spell for that. I guess I'll have to do it then. Ellen copies love letter and fold it up carefully. I do not want a paper cut on my lips. Now I can deliver this thing and forget about it. No, you'll never forget about it. There will be no will star wipes! <laughs> star wipes! When I arrive at the classroom, I find Pro Professor Potsdam standing by the chalkboard. Hello, little seedlings. There Please are only take two your students. seat. There are two teachers. So there are. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I know. It's a hard... All right. Today, you're going to learn about green magic. The magic of life. This is a very important skill for any witch or wizard to have, especially when you get to be a certain age. Your body is a garden to be cared for. With proper tending, it could last you centuries. Oh my god, is she centuries years old? I hope so. Oh, you hope so? <laughs> yeah, it only, it's the only way I can get hard. It's like, like a dust coming out of that vagina. Oh yeah, and those titties... They're defying fucking gravity right now. <laughs> That's why she got it all tied up and shit. Yeah. She lets that thing go and poof, on the floor they go. Slowly, carefully, you must encourage your subjects to grow in the direction you prefer. She looks like a distinguished Joan be, Rivers. Be patient. And, oh, oh, and the <laughs> rose vines, they'll lose their thorns and twine around. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too long. Let's do the I'm enjoying if it can heal, it can kill. What happens if you force something to grow in the wrong way, quickly? Why would you want to do that? Because you don't like the life in front of you. Well, if that's your plan, you can look forward to working with you, or I can look forward to working with you for a very long time. Life has its own flow. You can change it. But the harder you push, the more energy you'll need. To cause a great change in an instant takes immense power. So, you better get started! Wow, we suck One, at green magic. Well, yeah, we're terrible. Now, let's, let's, let's not do green magic anymore. It's not our forte. Oh, she's doing white magic too, I guess. Yeah. Wow. wow. Good morning, Starshines! You'll need to sit down before we can start. But take your time, relax, get comfortable. It's very important when working with this particular style of magic. You want to know something? What's that? How is she teaching three classes at once? I have no fucking clue. I just realized, like, if we took green, she'd still be at green. If we took black, she'd still be at black. So how is she all in all three places? I do not know. It's because she's magic. Because she's magic, yeah. Yeah. So she's settling to her seat. Let's do it. To some people... White is the absence of color. A blank canvas in the non-magical world. White is a complete spectrum. All colors combined into one. In other ways, you could think of white magic as either of these things. White magic is a tool you use to access the spiritual realm. Ghosts, dreams, creatures from other planes... The thoughts of those around you. With white magic, you can experience and communicate with things that are normally hidden. There's only one thing I need to warn you about. 
Some people have tried to use white magic to control minds and spirits instead of asking for their aid. Don't do it. You'll regret it. Now, shall we go on with the lesson? What sort of warning is that? Does she mean that it won't work or we'll be expelled or arrested or our brains will melt or don't start talking? <laughs> I think we should do more white magic. You like that? Sounds like a badass thing. Yeah. You know what? Let's let's keep going until we finish our beers. All right. Let's. Good. This will be an extra long episode for you, the our listener. wonderful, wonderful viewers, who uh, have sat with us through this entire series. Sounds like someone's crying. And we're not going to get through the end of it. Oh uh, no! Ellen? Oh. Oh no, Ellen. What's what's wrong? Was one of the seniors picking on you again? That love letter! I helped you write. Somebody gave it to Professor Grabner! And then he did the spell to find out who wrote it, and so he blamed me, and he wouldn't listen, and now I have the tension, and I never had the tension, and th everything's going wrong, and my mother oh, hates me, and she says, No, I can't I'll, do it! I can't do it! How did that letter get to the professor? I gave it to. Damien. Damien. It'll be okay. I'm going to find out what's going on. Star wipe. <laughs> I stomp through the halls, driven by the fires of righteous fury. Even the seniors I pass my way don't dare challenge me. Falcon Hall, home of the pretty boys. He must be around here somewhere. Damien! It's my favorite freshman looking for me. Jab a finger into his chest. You gave my love letter to Professor Grabiner? He read it out in front of everyone, and he and then he did a spell to see who wrote it, and now my roommate's got detention. Your roommate? She has better handwriting than me, so she rewrote it on pink paper so it would look cute. She did me a favor, and now she's being punished for it. I hope you're happy. Mmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. No, no. Oh, diarrhea. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have been bragging. That's what started this. Wait, What? I was telling some of the guys how I made my freshmen write this letter for me. I was mm, showing off. They thought it was funny, and the very idea of a girl writing a love letter to someone like me. When I was at class yesterday, someone broke into my room and stole the letter. So, no one no one likes me, huh? no one likes Damien, but I'm oh. so cute and I have this voice. And everybody loves me, come on, I have little wings and they're so dainty and I thought they were going to use it to tease me. I never imagined they would try and use it against you. I have no idea your roommate was involved. Well, I'm not going to let them have the last laugh. Come, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> First, I'm going to apologize to your roommate in person. Then I'm going to Professor Grabner. If someone gets detention for this, it should be me. He grabs my hand and pulls me through the corridor. Slightly roughly, ooh. And then he looks a bit scary when he mad when he's mad, but I bet I did too. I know just how he feels. It's so unfair when mean people hurt innocents for no reason. When we reach Horse Hall, I detach myself from his grip. Let me go and fetch her. I don't think she'd react well if you suddenly barged into our room. Well, I don't want to see you naked. Do I? <laughs> Not because you're a demon or anything, just because she's upset right now. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Ellen is sitting on her bed with an odd expression on her face. Ellen? Damien's here to apologize. Some bully stole his love letter to pick uh, to pick on him. He said you'll go. he'll go to the professor and, you know, explain everything. That's all right. He doesn't have to. What? What? William already did. He came to check on me, and he told him the whole story, and he's class president, you know, and he said he could fix it. Uh, oh. He's very sweet, and I'm giving him um, sexual favors. So, will you come talk to Damien? He feels really horrible about it, what happened, and I yelled at him too, so I feel kind of guilty. Okay. All right. There we go. So her senior rode to the rescue. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, that's good. That's yeah, fine. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Uh, realized something very important, which is it should have occurred to me before now. Virginia. Psst, Virginia. Wake up! Whoa. It's Friday the 13th. Oh, neat. So? Um, are there any special rituals we need to do or not to do or to protect us from magical bad luck? Oh. No. Friday the 13th is good luck when you're a witch. It's uh, opposite day, don't you know? Oh. Well, so, uh, it's a good omen that our initiation finishes the day. Now, let me finish sleeping. She pulls the cover back over her head. Well, can I guess that's that. Fail Jim. How do you fail Jim? By not participating. <laughs> Heard whispering the crazy task we've been done for this week. Hear the sounds of heavy boot bootsteps marching in the unit. Bow Listen. down! Look up! You're too tall! Don't turn back! You're back on me! Lower! 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> After a few minutes, we're all lying flat on our backs on the floor. Hey, oh. Whoa, yeah. Uh, welcome, freshmen! It's time for the final phase of your initiation. Karina, we'll be passing out blindfolds. Please put them on. The long haired girl from Snake Hall tiptoes around the room, delicately placing a strip of dark fabric in the hands of each freshman. Blindfolded. What are they planning to do to us? Oh no! Well, everyone else is doing it. Up, oh, off, off with the lights! Dot, Fade to dot, black. dot! It's, it's happening. Oh, we're gonna be deflowered. Right, right let's here. Let's do, real quick, let's do a save game. Slot one, what are we saving it as? Mm. The booty is yours. The booty is yours. Yours to command. Your sir equals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we have no idea what's going on. There are people moving around, whispering one or two giggles, and I wait. Sit up carefully. Now on your feet. Ooh, stand up. Hands under my elbows. Okay, here we go. One hand pushes me. Hey! Round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Uh, uh, uh. Stop! Okay. Uh, uh. For your own safety, do exactly what I tell you. Walk forward, slowly into the spare trap. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Follow the instructions voice and try and guess where I'm going. Through the building, out a door, across the grounds, totally naked. Step uh, up. Uh, uh, up. Up. Careful now. Don't hit your head. Yeah, I feel a hand on top of my head gliding me to the van. A van? Oh no! S sit Strap down. I'll drop you in. <laughs> Here we go. Into the dungeon. To the mall, to the cave, to a hotel, to a secret underground temple, Kalima, Kalima. <laughs> da, da, da. At least we arrive. At last we arrive and are carefully ushered out of the car. Surprise! Oh, it's me, Damien, all along! Woo. And what you were grabbing on for safety was definitely my cock. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to party! Wow, we're gonna lounge around the right and eat punch bowls and drink watermelons and have chafing what <laughs> chafing dishes? <laughs> Did you say drink watermelon and eat punch bowls or eat punch bowls and drink watermelons? Water, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, like you do. Yeah. Sodas and barbecues and games, we can like, you know, rest on a barbecue and drink the games and, you know, fuck the soda. <laughs> Hell yeah. You bought me a present? Actually, we were supposed to make them. But I've never been good at that sort of thing. So here. I just, you know, bought at the dollar store. But butter <laughs> You don't have to share it with anyone. <laughs> Alright. Come on, let's join the party. It's getting started. Alright. Everybody's here, it'll be a good chance Hopefully to get my roommates to meet Damien and or, see or, that he's not a bad guy. Or a stress down. Yeah, do you want to introduce Damien to Virginia or to Ellen? 
Well, Virginia's Virginia. the racist one. Yeah, let's get her. Let's get him right into Virginia's face. Yeah. Oh, you should meet my roommates. Are you sure? They're nice. You'll like them. Not I... like they're racist at all. Woo, here they come. All right. Virginia's a born witch, so she's really helpful telling. Uh, she, so she's really helpful telling me and Ellen things about the school and traditions and stuff. Who's the guy in the hood? Balthazar, apparently. Balthazar. Right through my begonias. He's the stoner, remember? But That's if right. you take some tea and rancid yak butter. Hello, diarrhea. She grabs my hand. Isn't this a great party? Um. And then she notices Damien. Oh, your senior. Virginia, this is Damien. Damien, my roommate. Virginia. William's sister. That's right. Um, and I assume you guys already know each other? Balthazar. Damien! Good week. It's all right. Balthazar here was just telling me all about his begonias. Why don't you two talk about that while diarrhea and I go and get some food? But, but, you know how much she I She doesn't even want to talk to him, does she? Oh, what a bitch! Uh, she is, she is racist! Okay, let's go with Dam Damien. Alright. Hey, you should go ahead, I'm, I'm, I'm not hungry. Suit yourself. She ducks out from between the guys. I think she was really trying to get away from Balthazar. She's just not down with the stoner. Really? Yeah. Is it the voice I gave him? So, your diarrhea. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, you're damp. Do you know anything about bryophytes? Bryophytes. Fights? Um, don't correct me. Okay. I'm the senior here. Actually, I don't know anything about them. They are most interesting. They are reproductive cycle. I uh, sneak a peek at Damien, wondering if there's some way we can escape, but he appears willing to stand and let the guy ramble. It, well, did we lose stress or gain we stress? Did. We, we did. We lost that. seven stress. Awesome. So Damien and I can enjoy the party, but that's okay. There's still plenty of time left for us to have fun. Okay, cool. A star wipe. Star, star wipe. Everything star wipe. Star wipe. I open the envelope and skim through its packets. Uh, they send their love and hope. Hey, our parents sent us up. Finally, they got done fucking. Oh, God damn it. They remembered they, us. They broke, did a break from fucking for at least ten minutes. Oh, God. I love my like dad, Mom. Letter. I wish they would, you know, I walked in on them once and that was scarring Probably for life. Probably a horrifying experience for us. I know. It, was, it wasn't It was good, but I'm glad I'm out of there now. I still love them. But okay, that's good. <laughs> Entire world of possibilities, they don't even ask. Well, they don't <laughs> want to bother me because I'm busy or... I still haven't written. I'm the bad one. Yeah, write them a letter tomorrow. Yeah, but for today, I have to decide whether to go out or not. You know, let's... Well, let's go to the mall. Yeah, let's go to the mall this time. Uh, students are lining up outside the school waiting for a free seat in one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local shopping center. Come on, we can write... Oh, wait, this is you. <laughs> I, I read your lines, I'm sorry. That happens sometimes. Wait a minute. What is it? We're still in uniform. So? Won't people stare at us because we're... Well, we're oh, that's you. Won't people stare at us because we're all wearing capes? Nah. Just act natural. It's no big deal. But it's nowhere, nowhere near, near Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Uh... Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose it's what we're supposed to do. Okay. At the mall. Wait, why is there a, This is supposed to be in America. Why is there a little kitty in the grocery store with the... That's a Japanese thing. That is... Everything in here is a Japanese thing. Look, there's even Japanese characters that they forgot to translate on that one yeah. building way in the back that's in the red... On the I guess if students come here all the time, they get used to it. Okay. That place does coffee and pastries. They have fresh fruit. That one does baked potatoes. There's a gift shop. There's a cafe. Uh, are all these stores magical? Nope. There's only one magic shop here. They sell wands and stuff. 
I'm going to get chocolate croissant. What about you? Um, let's go to the magic store. All right, let's go to the magic store. Yeah. She has vague directions in mind. We search for the magic store. Branch off the mall. It looks like a dead end. There's only one step shop front. Uh, oh, isn't that like way to... back into the mall where there's like... Nothing but a rape tunnel? There's... Yeah. It's like either boarded up shops like... Like... Or that one CD store that only sells like local rap bands that all suck. Yes. So we got glasses... <laughs> Uh, wands, which are outside of our... Actually, the only thing we can really purchase here is glasses. A furry set? A sex tant? That's actually, like, to, to measure distances and stuff. This has nothing to do with sex. Yeah. But yeah, I want a furry set. Uh, we can't afford one, but we can look at glasses. Um, era sophistication. Plus five smart. Ooh. No, yeah. I'm good. I don't... I want to save up for, for a furry set now. So let's be done. Let's be done here. Okay. Yep. That was educational and not at all de-stressing. Nope. So we write our parents. Yep. They might think it sounds like bullying. I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here. Okay. Regular stuff. I'm running out of alcohol. I'm just about done with mine as well. Hmm. I'm a bit annoyed at Virginia for being racist. Yeah, and ditching me at a party. Yeah, she did. She just walked out. Man, yeah. these girls, man. I don't even know. Wait, wait, don't tell it yet. I can get a stamp and carry it off. Louder. Louder, so the mic picks you up. I think I'll go for a walk. Thank you. The mic's like way over here. Magical place. It's a magical place. I miss the fall colors. colors. I wonder what the witches and wizards will do for Halloween. Dress up like normal people? Oh, yeah, it's Damien. Oh, I'm Look, in crystal space. Uh, hi, Damien. He looks at me oddly. What, what are you up to? What Do you want to do something together? Why? To be friendly because we're bored? Not that bored. Why are you being a dick, Damien? Oh, wow. Whoa! How dare he? Whoa, is it we just the We should have gotten the glasses. The initiation? Like, oh my goodness. What just happened? I told you so. Told, told me what? That he's evil. I was just talking to my brother about him to get the scoop. He's a total womanizer. William says last year he left every sophomore in Butterfly Hall crying in the bathroom at some point. Because <laughs> yes, he raped I, them all. I, I believe that. Because <laughs> he, he gets... uses the devil hole. <laughs> At least they're not pregnant. Uh, he gets girls <laughs> hooked up. <laughs> then, when they fall in love with him, he dumps them. I'm a baby making machine. <laughs> I'm not dating him. The point is, he's a jerk. Forget you ever knew him. You'll be better off. There's some misunderstanding. I know Virginia doesn't like Damien, but he was nice to me. Maybe he's just having a really bad day. He doesn't want to talk to me right now. There's no point in chasing after him. Come on. Let's go to the game and play. Uh, okay. Alright. Um, so it was at this point, my audio decided to crash. And for the rest of the episode, there was no more audio. The good news is, there was only about 30 seconds left in the episode, so you didn't miss much. We finished our beers and had a good night. And I hope you do too. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.